Hello, everybody. The observant among you may notice that this looks a little different than it did last week. I rearranged the modules in this case, partly for functionality, uh, mainly because I wanted to put Hendrickson down here so it would be closer to where my guitar effects are located. And since Hendrickson is 5 HP, I had to move the Pico Mult down, and that's 3 HP, because when you move an odd size module to a different row, you have to move another odd sized module so then the HP comes out even and all of your other modules will fit correctly. And then some of this rearranging was for strictly structural reasons. It was kind of like solving a puzzle, which modules will fit next to which other modules. Because like the M669, they cheated a little bit and the pots here at the edge stick out just a hair's breadth out past the edge of the panel. Most modules are actually slightly narrower than the panel, but some of them, particularly like the 2HP ones, they completely fill that 2HP, so a module that sticks out you can't put next to one of these. Also, a module that goes back really deep, you might not be able to put next to a module where the power cable juts out to the side and they just they just won't go so there was a lot of uh, a lot of figuring and rearranging and I said some bad words during that process but I finally got it all put together and what really prompted the rearrange was this I got a new module because there were two modules in the rack that I just kind of wasn't using. One of them was Bastel Propust, a passive filter array. And uh, I don't know, there was a mainly, there was significant uh, signal drop involved in using it and I just felt like most of the time it sat there taking up space and I didn't use it much. Also, I took out the old Synthrotech Delay because I bought it used and it didn't work right and I never really felt like troubleshooting it was a little more involved than my electronics skills are capable of handling and to make it work right I built this so in order to use the delay as a proper regenerating delay I have to connect this doodad to it and uh, since I got the Pico DSP I've hardly used the delay at all so I took it out and I may reinstate it if later I get more stuff and decide to expand into another case. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But here's what I got. It's the uh, Metabolic Devices 2Win, which is a window comparator. As opposed to, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, a threshold comparator like the ones in the Dynamo and the Tromsu. Uh, a threshold comparator takes a signal and then you either set a threshold or use another signal as a threshold but when the signal is higher than the threshold then the comparator outputs a high gate. A window comparator has three inputs. You got two signals and then a CV that controls the width of the window. And the window is like a voltage range. And when your two signals are within that range, like if you have a one volt window, then anytime your two inputs are one volt apart or less, then it will output a gate. 
and well, I just thought that was a pretty nifty idea and it's a function that I don't have and it was 6 HP and it was not too expensive so I decided to get it and it is doing something right now I'm feeding it the triangle wave from the life forms oscillator the low the LFO I should say the low frequency oscillator and that's going in here to input one input two is taking the bipolar output from Clep Diaz and Clep is being clocked to step through its voltages by the square output of that LFO so this is kind of a CV sequence being clocked by the same LFO frequency as the triangle wave that I'm sending and then the trigger from that circuit is going to the clock divider and every second one of them is triggering the tea cake and that sounds like that now the bottom half of 2win is another window comparator input 2 is normal directly to input 2 of the bottom side but input 1 is normaled and inverted so you get a slightly different variation if you don't plug anything in you can use the bottom half separately but if you don't plug anything in then you get a, a different version of this same trigger and I'm using that to trigger hat directly and you can hear it kind of wiggling in and out of phase with the other one and a lot of that is because the second voltage is varying so the points where that triangle wave overlaps are changing over time now on the clock divider way down here divided by 64 that's going up here and triggering an event in the pip slope and what pip slope is doing it's changing the start position of a sample in the 4ms sampler and it is chanting thusly and it took me a while to get it to make that gagging vomiting sound and uh, <laughs> I laughed so hard I can't explain to y'all why that was so funny but I just about cried now then uh, for one more thing Bastel Castle is sitting over here running and it's it's kind of running on its own clock but it is receiving a gate from the divide by eight here on the clock divider which is toggling the pitch of the second oscillator and then the fade in is being controlled by the unipolar CV from Clep Diaz and that's that So basically all of the timing in, in the, the stuff that you're hearing is all being timed by this one oscillator. Everything else is dependent on it. So if I slow that down, everything slows down. The chanting guy takes forever to choke up. And everything is just moving slow. I can speed it up. Anyway. There you go, the two win. It 
has really uh, pretty astounding capabilities. You can you can run audio through it and uh, and get these nutty sort of ring mod digital noise artifacts. It's it's crazy. I might demonstrate that in another video, but this one has gone on for long enough. I just wanted to show y'all what might or might not be my last module. I'm not making any promises, but uh, it, it ought to be my last. Anyways, uh, as usual, shout out to my patrons for paying for most of this. Thanks a bunch to everyone who are subscribed. You, you know how cool you are, and the rest of the world may come to know. If you found this entertaining, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to do that. And I will catch you next time.